So, and his daughter was passing when I was speaking to other people. So he was angry. But if his daughter is 12 years old, according to Judaism, mm -hmm. she's an adult. But he doesn't think that his daughter, you know, can uh, can be independent enough to listen on her own. Can you explain to me what do you want? It's just your opinion. No, no. I come from the Jewish Bund movement. Uh -huh. Before the Holocaust, we were the big Jewish defense organization, anti-fascist organization. My uncle was a partisan, uh -huh. who fought against the Nazi occupation of Poland. My parents are from Poland. And so, all of us, you know, most of our members were lost in the Holocaust. And the Zionists, who were like 8% of the Jewish population, they took over the leadership. And they said, Jews should only go to Palestine. And they didn't even help Jewish people to come into Canada, United States. No, they didn't care. They only wanted Jewish people to go to Palestine and to be soldiers. Okay. That's basically the story. <laughs> here? It's not bad. Not bad here. <laughs> I'm not Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians. I'm not Independent Jewish Voices. They're a bunch of fanatics. And uh, they're irresponsible, impolite, and they, and they don't have respect for the Jewish community. So I don't work with them. I split with them years ago from the Independent Jewish Voices. I'm Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians. We're Jewish Bundes. We are with the Jewish people, but not with the Zionism. We don't even have a vote for the Israeli elections. How can they speak for us? I can't hear you. But they can't get away with this. No genocide allowed in Gaza, not in our name. No! I am home! Hmm, you're upset.
No genocide allowed in Gaza. Not in our name. No genocide allowed in Gaza. Not in our name. Nicht auf unsere Nummer. First ice. No genocide allowed in Gaza. No genocide allowed in Gaza, not in our name. Mendel. Okay, now we're going to lay through in. Not too bad. There was a riot here Monday night. I, uh, I saw it. I was there. Oh. I saw it, yeah. So th those are the fanatics. Yeah. So now they're forbidden to come here. Yeah. Mm. I agree. Why? Because they were, they were harassing people. You know? I mean, they can disagree, you know. But people here are not soldiers. You know, like, we're not killing anybody here. <laughs> So, you know, what are they getting? They think that uh, it's the same thing. It's not. They don't realize, you know, Jewish people here don't even have a vote in the Israel elections, you know, so. Let's see now. Let's go over here. Yes, that's what the horror stories that were put out by the military are all about because they're trying to convince people that it's necessary to go and kill all the Palestinians because there's no other choice because they're coming to kill all the Jewish people blah, 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 and therefore that justifies another Holocaust. But it's not true. There's a new documentary out put out by Al Jazeera about October 7th and they show the videos from the uh, Israel military how they're firing on the cars. At the Nova, cars? Yeah, at the Nova Festival. There what was the, the cars, cars probably had 
cards.